Welcome to Real Truth Real Quick. My name is Rick Smith. I'm here with Todd Wagner. Hey, friends. We're with you all the time. Here we are. This is the end of the year yeah. countdown. We're counting down the top five most viewed episodes of 2017. I want to ask Todd about why he thinks these mm. episodes seem to pop this year. We have about 50 episodes that we did this year, but five of those kind of rose to the top. And the yeah. first one is, if I have enough faith, Will God heal me? Why and do you that think was that one with my friend Johnny Erickson Tata because there's so much false teaching out there. Johnny, if you don't know, has been in a wheelchair in 2017 for 50 years, going all the way back when she was a 17-year-old. And you have somebody who did that episode with me who is a moral authority on the topic. If you want to know, man, if I just believe, would God heal my grandmother? Would he heal me? Would he give me more? Man, you have to listen to that episode. Share that episode with friends. You're going to run up against that question. And so I think the reason that was a top five episode is it's a question we all face all the time. So, man, that's well worth your time learning the theological principles and truth there so you're not going to be a victim to all the error. Good, good, good. The other one is an Easter episode, but not Easter bunnies and Easter eggs. It's having to do with Jesus. Where did Jesus go between his death and resurrection? Yeah, because most of us, or many people that grew up in a church at of the Apostles' Creed, it talks about how uh, he suffered and he went down, and it says he suffered in hell even down there. What's it mean? Where did Jesus go? Did Jesus go to hell? And we answer that question. We teach you through that topic. Where did Jesus go for those three days? <clears throat> between the crucifixion and the resurrection. A great episode. So when you, next time you're with somebody who quotes the Apostles' Creed, you got something to teach them. I'd watch that episode. All right. Well, our third most watched episode of 2017 has to do with sexual sin. Mm -hmm. It's the issue of masturbation. Is masturbation a sin? Yeah, Why man, do you think that one? so much misinformation because I think it's something guys and girls, we talk about guys and girls struggling with masturbation, especially with the proliferation of uh, pornography and all that stuff's out there. But frankly, even before it was accessible as it was through the iPhone, that is a great topic. Everybody has struggled with or is aware of people that struggle with that topic. Listen to it, be able to encourage your friends. Too many folks just kind of go, oh, man, hey, you know, I'm with you and, and stop that, knock it off. Or they act like it's an issue we can't talk about. The Bible is relevant, speaks to us. So man, check out that episode. All right, and our second most watched uh, episode of 2017 has to do with Scripture. Huh. What is an easy way to memorize Scripture? That one surprised me. It's not like a hot really? topic. Oh, well, gosh, you know, here's the thing, man. Scripture is so life-giving, and everybody wants to do better at this one topic. And I think they see us quote a lot of Scripture on Real Truth real quick. That's how you can be your own person who gives biblical answers to life leadership in the world we live in. So if you want help memorizing Scripture, I've got a friend that was on that episode with me who's memorized dozens of books. I mean, amazing, like long books, like Revelation books, okay? And so check that out with my friend Janet Pope. You'll love that episode. All right, and then our number one most watched mm. episode was the movie The Shack. Is The Shack a Christian <laughs> movie? Well, we talk about that in there, and we uh, talk about how, how the reason that episode was so popular is because the book is so popular, and people want to know, is that movie a good representation of what the scripture says about the person of God. So, man, you learn a lot of good theology. Maybe you didn't see the movie The Shack or read the book, but you're going to learn some good theology if you listen to that episode. But that is one of our most watched episode periods of all, all time. time yep. Hey, you know what makes Real Truth real quick great, Rick? What's that? Is listeners who tune in and who send us their questions. We like to ask the questions you're asking. So send them to us. Let's make 2018 our best year ever. By the way, man, we had a, a listener this year who redid our app. There's a new app. You can go down to the App Store yep. and download it. I think it's both on Android and iPhone yep. now. Check it out. It's amazing. The search feature is great. We've updated our search feature, feature on our website, realtruthrealquick.com. Let us know your questions. Let's make 2018 our best year yet. All right, we'll see you next year on more episodes of Real Truth Real Quick. 